It is well known that carrying the APOE4 allele conveys a higher risk for Alzheimer's disease than carrying APOE3. About 13% of the population carries APOE4. But there are important gaps in what the field knows about how APOE4 can affect the brain. In our new research in neuron, we sought to understand the difference APOE4 makes that may lead to neuron degeneration. We went under the hood to, un to better understand what is going on in human cells and the models. We created tissue cultures and the 3D organoids from human-induced pluripotent stem cell, or iPSCs. The organoids are not really brain, of course, but they are models where key cell works in similar ways. We use CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing to insert the APOE4 gene variant into iPSCs derived from healthy individuals with the APOE3 genotype. We also compare this to isogenic APOE3 controls. It was a huge effort in my lab that has produced an important set of results. With the finding of this detailed new study, we have a much clearer picture of how APOE4 leaves the brain vulnerable to neurodegeneration. For us, getting under the hood meant looking at the key cell types in Alzheimer's disease neurodegeneration. We looked at neurons, astrocytes, and microglia-like cells in our 2D cultures, as well as at cerebral organoids. In our APOE3 and APOE4 models, we were able to see significant changes in cell function related to amyloid and tau. We started out by using RNA sequencing to track gene expression differences. We saw hundreds of express, uh, differentially expressed genes in neurons and even more in astrocytes and microglia-like cells. We also performed a wide range of assays to probe the effects of APOE on each cell type. We found, for instance, that APOE4 neurons secreted more amyloid beta uh, protein than did APOE3 neurons. We also found that APOE4 neurons exhibited much higher frequencies of miniature excitatory synaptic currents, suggesting they're hyperactive and potentially underlying the increase in amyloid, amyloid beta secretion that we saw. In astrocytes, which are the most uh, abundant support cell type in the brain, we found that APOE4 astrocytes were virtually swimming in cholesterol due to increases in both intracellular and secreted cholesterol. We found that having the APOE4 allele reduced the ability of these cells to take up amyloid beta as well. Microglia are phagocytic and potentially inflammatory cells whose importance in Alzheimer's disease has been highlighted in recent years by numerous genetic studies. Like astrocytes, microglia-like cells take up A-beta, but much more readily. We found that microglia-like cells with the APOE4 allele were, able, were also impaired in their ability to take up amyloid beta from culture media. In addition, they were also much uh, less effective than APOE3 cells in clearing amyloid beta plaques from 3D organoids. Finally, comparing organoids composed mainly of APOE3 and APOE4 neurons and astrocytes, uh, and consistent with our findings from each of the cell types we looked at in 2D culture, we found the APOE4 organoids had actually much more amyloid plaque accumulation than APOE3. We found they also exhibited elevated levels of phosphorylated tau, as is found in Alzheimer's disease patients. We didn't just want to understand the problem. We wanted to see if there are potential solutions. Indeed, there was a little good news. To complement the experiments we just described, we took induced pluripotent stem cells from a sporadic Alzheimer's disease patient that had the APOE4 allele and changed it to APOE3 using CRISPR-Cas9. When we did that, we saw improvements in many of our measures. For instance, converting APOE4 to APOE3 enhanced the ability of astrocytes and microglia-like cells to uptake extracellular amyloid beta. We hope this type of approach could lead to new therapeutic strategies. <laughs>